the fact that I wanted to be a hero only I was like, now will he judge me for this? You know, that he wants to become a hero. You go. This entire marriage thing is just about one thing. You know, is that the guy was a mess. You know, and the woman came in to fix him. So the rest of this life is going to be a journey of being fixed and becoming, you know, like a just a decent person. Shahid, welcome back to Film Companion. Thank you. This time as Bloody Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Has there been like a spring in your step since we last met after Farzi? Yeah, I mean, I'm very happy. Of course, Farzi's was amazing, and uh, um, you know, the love was uh, really overwhelming. I, I mean, when uh, you know, one day before it came out, I kept calling Rajin Tiki, and I was like, you know, like this is not like a movie. Huh. You know, I can't get to know advance booking hui hai ki nahi hui hai. You know, I don't get to know. I have no information. You know. and they were laughing and they were like yeah don't worry you'll get used to it you know we we also didn't know how to kind of compute the day before the show comes out right mm-hmm. you know otherwise you having screenings and you know you get to know what's happening in the business and whether people are coming or not coming how many tickets have sold you you get all that information right but this was like completely cool so what the gauge your phone blows up matlab hit so after it came out what they actually had told me was that uh, you know shayad this is a show it's not like a movie people consume a show over a few months sure. you know so like if you were to think that a movie has a weekend where you you know kind of get most of your response in the first 3 days mm. you should consider at least a month for a show okay. you know maybe over a period of 1 month you'll get the response but then 3 days later the show was behaving like a film you know <laughs> and they called me and they said you know we don't know what's going on because you know it's just gone ape shit you know in these first 3 days and uh, so yeah so farzi was like a dream start and we could not not have asked for better reactions Yeah. and uh, it's still being consumed there are still people i know who say you know we are on the fifth episode it's <laughs> getting very interesting now you know <laughs> so that kind of stuff happens was he was very very special but i kind of i kind of felt that even before it came out because i was very satisfied with the product you know and i felt like the way we had put the product together right from when it was written to the way that it was shot you know mm. pankaj cinematography is just so special as a cameraman like i just I want to be shot by him again and again because uh he just enhances the performance you know he really has that skill and uh Suman and Sita they just write so well yeah uh, you know they write such well rounded characters and Rajin Dekhe are in top form they just understand how to balance dark and drama and quirk you know they just understand how to keep those things playing all through the show um the way they write the ensemble Uh, hmm. you know the supporting characters like because sunny needed to be a little darker and deeper and slightly more uh, criminal hmm. uh, you know firoz was written for keeping it slightly light and quirky you know they cast bhuvan who was so so good yeah. i saw you all in his interview when he went to his house yeah. 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 and i was feeling so proud because i remember he used to call me before the show came out and he would be like bhai mera kuch hoga nahi hoga kya ho raha hai and i was like tu bas kuch ulta seedha mat kar you know just wait uh, because you know everybody is in a hurry i was also when i was young i wanted to get on with it but i'm so happy that you know like it's come out and people have loved him and rashi has done so well um, you know this was kind of one of her first uh, forays into you know hindi language so to yeah. say and uh, people loved her so much you know they oh, they liked was. her so much and she played her character so naturally and it was so endearing and nice and likable without having any you know any of these uh, quirks so to say and she was just a regular girl and it's not easy pulling those yeah. uh, kind of parts off and of course we had amol sir and uh, we had kk sir who was outstanding and vijay sir is a is a ledge <laughs> you know so <laughs> but, but what does it do for you when you have such a successful show of course there's some amount of introspection after going back to the drawing board i don't what i move on Yeah. I finish the show, I absorb what needs to be absorbed and then I step into the next day, you know, because um I feel like you should spend the right amount of time celebrating. Okay? You know, you should spend very minimal time feeling depressed <laughs> when things don't work for you. Uh you know, and you should spend most of your time in what is at hand and what you need to work towards, you know. So I like to push most of my energies into today and now and maybe a little bit of tomorrow, not even the after. so i think that's just a better way to be and uh, uh you know that's what you should be focusing on because yeah. what's happened has happened good or bad it's behind you right 
you know, so that's it's very zen. But you said also <laughs> that Farzi was in just a warm up to what Bloody Daddy is for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you if you talk about badass, then yeah, this guy is pretty badass. I mean, it's it's called Bloody Daddy. It doesn't get more in your face than that, you know. Like when Ali told me, sir, Bloody Daddy title racking. I took a couple of days to absorb it. I was like. ये ब्लडी डैडी थोड़ा ज्यादा नहीं है ये यू नो ब्लडी डैडी ही सेड नहीं सर हमारी फिल्म का जो वाइब है एक बार बैकग्राउंड स्कोर आएगा और आपका यू नो स्वैग आएगा और थोड़ा वो वर्ल्ड आएगा तो ये करेक्ट लगेगा मुझे लगता है एंड ही सेड आई वांट पीपल टू फील लाइक दिस इज गोना बी लाइक अ क्वर्की एजी काइंड ऑफ इन योर फेस एक्शन राइट बिकॉज़ दैट्स दैट्स अ जॉनर दैट ही अंडरस्टैंड्स मच मोर देन मी एंड ही हैज डन मच मोर ऑफ दैट बट ही वांटेड टू ब्रिंग अ लाइक अ एजियर मोर लाइक टुडे um uh, in the moment mm-hmm. this is actually happening as opposed to i'm watching this large scale action or which is more like a external experience this is more immersive like we want the audience to feel like they are there when it's happening um so i think what's cool about the film is that it's very real and believable uh, but at the same time there is that little edge which gives you that slightly kind of elevated experience mm-hmm. where you don't feel like you know sometimes shooting action in a real space can get a bit too uh, it can get a bit bit too kind of like it's not attractive and fun anymore it gets a bit like you know too uh, too real okay and sometimes when you shoot action in a manner which is too stylized it just you know that that it doesn't feel real anymore and you start like almost start smiling like you know ye kya dikha rahe hain you know like yeah, that starts yeah, happening yeah. Uh, because so much is possible with uh, with what we can do in post, post today sure. right and that's become really good so actually the the most challenging part of that aspect is to keep it just as much as is required you know like matrix happened and then after that you saw a lot of movies where people were suddenly flying like 80 feet for no reason because we had the you know the ability we yeah. could do it because we have the machines and the tech and the expertise but is it required uh, you know so i think ali has tried to uh, keep that balance uh, in place where it feels very raw and real but at the same time if you feel like clapping a little bit if there is that little magic moment that happens in the middle that is still alive uh, without taking away hopefully from from uh, you know the fact that you can be immersive in your kind of experience of the film what And do you guys mean by designed for ott does one do anything differently in yeah i i know that might sound like like what does that mean like you know i can i understand when people say that um i wouldn't say designed for ott like that but i would just like maybe that's just what we're saying to keep it simple and you know tell people because a lot of people say telling us you know take it to the theaters sure. you know so and me and ali had <laughs> a few conversations and we like you know it's a compliment that people are saying they want you to take it to a theater because i think this genre is really working right now you know like hmm. people want to see that and i guess maybe they're ready to see me in that space cuz i've done a few of these aggressive films but i've not done like an out and out action film so maybe you know they they like ha huh, we want to see this that, that that little bit feedback i got uh but when we conceived this film when we spoke about it right from the beginning our instinct told us that this film should be for a, a digital platform and when we made the film we made it with that in mind so you know like for example the use of language okay. or uh, the grittiness of the action or the fact that there are no songs uh, there's no heroine hero kind of track as such um we've not tried to elevate any of the action sequences beyond their natural space we've kept it very much within the gambit of uh the story of the film and we wanted it to feel like a tight uh action we didn't want to open it up into being like this you know where you have these big scale sequences or like big bike chases or like helicopters coming in or it's not that kind of action it's very in a kitchen you know in a nightclub uh in the middle of cannot place like it's very raw and real kind of action in in terms of the choices of where to do it and how to do it uh without losing the cinematic impact that action can make so we just felt like it was more right to stick to what we had set out to make because i just feel it's better to um you know once you've taken a journey it's better to go with it as opposed to you know in the last minute just because a few people are getting excited you you know you change it up we just wanted to stick to our conviction yeah. and we still feel that this film is meant uh was conceived for ott and therefore we want to put it out there yeah but we're very happy to know that people thought it should go to theaters it's a compliment <laughs> of it's course, a compliment another compliment is that ali refers to you as one of the few uh actor stars that we have which is really a big big yeah, compliment how does one ga- like how does one achieve that balance where you don't get lost in the stardom i don't know i mean i don't think i've had such big stardom that i can get lost in it i know there are there are people who might have 
just you know exploded oh, and fuzzy didn't know literally what to do. just went ape shit. I know but that's now right it's been 20 years you know what i'm saying so i've i've seen my highs and lows and uh, yes i've had some really really good highs and off late i think i've been hitting uh, a better uh, you know my average is getting little <laughs> better <laughs> between uh, good and bad um but i see i didn't start uh, i didn't join movies कि मुझे ना बहुत सारे पैसे कमाने और मुझे सुपरस्टार बनना है राइट दैट वाज नॉट द रीजन आई गॉट इन मूवीज आई बिकेम एन एक्टर बिकॉज आई लव्ड सिनेमा एंड आई वांटेड टू पार्टिसिपेट एंड आई वांटेड टू गिव पीपल परफॉर्मेंसेस व्हिच कुड मेक देम लाफ एंड क्राई एंड यू नो एंड आई वांटेड टू टेक गुड सिनेमा एंड इंटेलिजेंट फिल्म्स टू द मासेस लाइक दैट वाज माय ड्रीम आई वाज लाइक यू नो व्हाई डू पीपल ऑलवेज से दैट इफ यू वांट टू मेक अ रियली बिग कमर्शियल सक्सेस देन यू नो इट शुड नॉट बी वेरी इंटेलिजेंट You leave know, your brains at home. Little bit. I hmm. mean, see, we have an extreme way of saying it. Leave your brains at home is like a very extreme way of saying you probably won't even make it to your seat if you <laughs> left your brains at home. You know, so thoda baat to brains hona chahiye. But um, like, I just felt that I want to push the envelope on that side, and therefore I think the work that really landed for me because I was so passionate about it was that kind of stuff, like the Kamines and the Urtas and the Heathers and you know all that. It just started landing for me, hmm. and. Uh, So I always felt that it was the actor in me that brought the best out in me. You know, I felt happy after giving like you know participating in a in a dramatic scene or in an emotional scene or even in a happy scene which required me to be there as an actor and bring something to it, right? Also, I think when I started the kind of filmy films that were being made were were very fluffy. Yeah. You know, there was very little sense in them. You know, I think today commercial cinema is still yeah. come much closer to at least having basics to some degree you know at least most of the films you know people seem to be concerned about that it should make some sense you know because it is very difficult to make complete sense and, and at the same time be really entertaining that you know so sometimes you have to make those choices but which direction do you want to head in and you know dad is pankaj kapoor so i thought i was the fact that i wanted to be a hero only i was like abhi now will he judge me for this you know <laughs> ki ye to hero banna chahta hai tu ja you know i i was like i don't know how you will uh, kind of look at that of course you know you get affected by what your parents do especially when my mom is such a phenomenal dancer and actor and my dad is legend as an actor uh, so all those things contributed did he judge you i hope not he was very supportive uh, but there were times when he when he i could make out that he was not very happy with the film or the, or the work that i did he would not make it very obvious but you know i mean with your parents it's family you know you know yeah. Uh, so uh, whenever he does call me, I know like you know he's really liked it because he's real like that. He's not because he's true to the art. You know he's he has to be true to movies and performances. So he can't lie. You know, and I love that. I love the fact that he's real with with me about it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but this is who I am. I think this is this is who I am. This is what I love. You know, I'm gonna step a little to the left and a little to the right once in a while because that's life. But I want to find that nice sweet spot in the middle where people can say, you know, that was a good film, but it was also a very entertaining film. And I want more and more people to be able to watch the movies that I do. I want them to be accessible, but I don't want them to be stupid. Yeah. It's a fair ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to say. It's very easy to say. Very difficult to do. But that's what I want to do. So I'm going to try. What were your conversations with Ali like? Because he really has cemented himself as the king of large. He's done so well with marrying, say, a Salman stardom with mm -hmm. a sound story. Mm -hmm. You guys have known each other really long. Yeah, he was actually when I was doing Badmash Company, he was the first AD on that film. So we spent a lot of time together, especially on that film. And I could see that you know he was waiting to make his first movie, and and uh, you know uh, I think right from the first film he started off nicely, and then he just you know. Got it better and yeah. better and better. So, what were your conversations with him? What were you guys hoping to sort of? We were chilling, man. Like we were chilling. <laughs> We've been here for a while, so we know each other. We have that mutual respect and regard. And uh, I very much knew that you know this is a genre that he knows. Hmm. But at the same time, see this this film, Bloody Daddy, is a very good, uh, hopefully good, <laughs> balance of um, being that commercial, like you're saying, kind of entertainer with the action. Yeah. But it's also very driven by performance. uh so all the characters and my character very much are very uh they are committed to their situation and throughout the film there is an inherent mood and there is a driving emotion and everything that's coming is coming from an from a place of 
a very like a human understandable emotion it's not uh, it's not like abhi ye hero hai to ye kar raha hai right it's not like that um uh, so i really like that i like that i could do an out and out action now but there was scope for performance throughout who were your uh, action heroes growing up did you find yourself bringing in some of that swag on set i don't like to uh, like I, there was there is a phase that everybody goes through where they see people and that they feel like they want to kind of bring that into what they do yeah. but i think a few years back i realized like i don't think that is like a, a true journey for an artist you have to be original hmm. you know you have to be yourself what you have seen of other people is what you were as a viewer but who you are as a viewer should be different from who you are as a performer yeah. um and there has to be originality in what you do so if you're drawing from other people then it's like you're the moon but you should try and be the sun you should have your own light you should bring your own uh, kind of energy and your own understanding to it but of course it takes many years to get to that place at least for me it took many years to get to that place so i don't really borrow off other people at least i try not to i try to stay as authentic as i can to myself because i think there is no other individual as every individual you are you nobody else can be you right yeah. so if you're trying to be somebody else you'll never truly be you you know so i would much happier be, be much happier being myself so But of course one is what your action hero everybody yeah mr bachchan was like uh, somebody we all grew up watching and what i loved about him was that you know he just it was just here it was just in the eyes you know and you don't need anything more than that because that is cinema cinema is is about faces it's about what you can see in somebody's eyes you don't need to do things like you know very loudly if you feel it you know it you're magnified by so much you know the the focal length on the, of that camera like it's on you everything else is blurred out you know and and it's on a mostly most of the times on a big screen and when you're in a tight close up even if you're watching something on on an ipad you know which might be a smaller screen but if it's a tight close up it says so much you know and he just he had that intensity and i think action is very much about in intensity yeah. i think it's very much about how you carry yourself your persona um what your body language says um and and most of it is just in the eyes, in the eyes. So i love that kind of which action. ali said he found in you with the intensity of your eyes see it's that kind of film it needed that and there is a motivation there is a reason it's not like you're carrying intensity for no reason एक आदमी होटल में आ गया और ही इज जस्ट वॉकिंग विद एन इंटेंस एक्सप्रेस वाई ये ऐसा क्यों आया भाई कल क्या हुआ था इसके साथ यू नो सो थैंकफुली इन दिस फिल्म देर इज अ सॉलिड रीजन एंड अ सेंस ऑफ अर्जेंसी एंड लाइक ही इज इमोशनली रियली शेकन अप यू नो एंड ही नीड्स टू ब्रिंग इज ए गेम ऑन टू बी एबल टू डू एनी थिंग यू नो एंड इज डेस्परेट सो देर इज रीजन फॉर इट राइट यू नो लाइक इवन इन मिस्टर बच्चन फिल्म देर वॉज दैट होल एंग्री यंग मैन लाइक ही केम फ्रॉम पॉवर्टी ही वॉज यू नो द एंटी हीरो ही वॉज लाइक यू नो against society and he yeah. was you know that that was who he was right and so there was reason and then you see these movies where everybody wants to be that kind of a personality but there's no reason i'm like tu aise kyun aa raha hai bhai relax ho ja kuch hua nahi hai yeah exactly you know like calm down you know so so in this there is reason you also talked about how 8 years into marriage you're now domesticated very much completely. who's the real daddy at home then i i am I am just bloody. Mira <laughs> is the daddy. I'm fully divorced. While of course it's important for you to be versatile as an actor, um, which avatar of yours does the missus like most? I think you should ask her. I hope she likes some avatar of mine. <laughs> But you know, like uh, recently I told Mira, I was like, you know, let now I finally I figured this out. I figured this out that you know, this entire marriage thing is just about one thing. You know, is that the guy. was a mess you know and the woman came in to fix him so the rest of this life is going to be a journey of being fixed and becoming you know like a just a decent person that's pretty much what life is about right then i think she's doing a great job i thought ye kuch sympathy degi mujhe badhiya dekho well you are doing i mean like you said the 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 average is doing great so, so that's why i'm doing movies like bloody daddy so i can just smash people up and like feel like <sighs> <laughs> All the best. Thank, Thank you, you so much for chatting Thank with you so me. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.